first here to investigate the secrets behind animal training, Mike has surrounded himself with a lot of clucking and clicking. Believe me, it will all make sense. Great time to leave. How do you inspect the teeth of a sea lion or convince a manatee to turn over and show you its flippers? Well, I've been invited to a special workshop near the Forest of Dean to witness a training technique that can theoretically be used on any animal. But I'm not training anything exotic. I'm going to be working with a chicken. Because, believe it or not, chickens are the ultimate training tool. Internationally renowned animal behaviorist Chirag Patel will be teaching me today. Chickens are great because they have a few simple behaviors and they learn so fast. So they can flap their wings, they can peck things, they can scratch. Um, the animal can't offer too many different behaviors, so it makes it slightly easier for the students to learn. So how do you train one of these farmyard fowl? So we're using a clicker here as a marker signal. It, it's paired with food, so when the animal hears a click sound, they get a treat and that treat can be anything that they're motivated to work for. And then we can use the click to teach them different behaviors. So I've got a target here, which is a disc with a dot on it. She goes near it, I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna give her a treat. The click says to her, well done for moving close to it, and you've got a treat. This is an example of positive reinforcement. A click signals instant reward before the trainer has a chance to give a treat. Get a click wrong and the chicken will think you're rewarding her for bad behavior. Get it right and she'll associate good behavior with the bribe. The precision needed means that once you master training a chicken, these techniques can be used to train any animal. Many of my fellow students work with dogs and have come from far and wide just to work with the chickens. I'm working at the Animal Training Center in Austria, training diabetic alert dogs. I want to improve my training skills, um, that I'm training the dogs even better. Bob Bailey has used this technique for 60 years and is something of a legend in this field. You've worked with a whole array of different animals. Well, over 140 different species. Like? Uh, goats, sheep, really? and uh, cockroaches, killer whales. In the 70s, he even trained ravens for the military. We used them for intelligence gathering. The ravens would be taught to carry a tiny camera, and guided by a laser, it would go to a particular window and take photographs, and then come back, and we would develop film and have a picture of whatever the raven took a picture of. It strikes me you're manipulating quite complex behavior. How can the students learn from chickens today and use that elsewhere? The real task is to teach the principles to the trainers and teach them how to apply it. And these principles are proving invaluable to the students. I'm a guide dog mobility instructor, so that involves not only training the dogs, but also training the people in how to use the dogs. You know, the principles we're learning here, like timing, accuracy, the mechanics of it, can be applied for anything. I've been struck by how quickly the chickens are responding, and Chirag has given me a challenge. The task I was given was to get Henny Penny the chicken that I've only worked with for one hour to walk all the way across a tightrope using the One Show logo as encouragement. Chirac, I think we're ready. OK, here we go. Good luck. Thank you. Penny Penny could easily hop off the narrow walkway at any point, failing the task. But my training means that she now associates the One Show logo with a food reward. It may have taken Bob years to get to the point of training spy ravens. But I'm pleased with what I've achieved in just a short space of time. Right, are we all ready for this? We are. Season set. You're set. Okay. We've click trained Mike, so uh, let's see what happens. Any he comes. <laughs> Any he comes. Hey. Here we go. Well, Get in the door, Mike. Oh, That's a treat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a much go. nicer treat. <laughs> Well done, Mike. Well done. Well it's trained. Amazing well trained. It, indeed. It's amazing how it works. But it is interesting, isn't it? And <laughs> for anyone who's got pets at home, be it hamsters, gerbils, cats, can you train your pets to do anything? The one show Chad Chirag uh, during the week, and he said theoretically anything. Birds, mammals, invertebrates, insects, bugs, spiders, 
all those kind of things. Only recently, George McGavin was watching Bumblebees play football last week on The One what? Show. Mm. And I like to think we went one step further in 2010, where we trained a goldfish in a goldfish bowl to play football yeah, underwater yeah. and dribble it into the goal, back of the net. Mm. There you go, amazing. Oh, but it doesn't skills. just have to be a clicker. The sound as such, yeah. You can yeah. use, for example, a flashlight. That works really well mm -hmm. with fish, for example. You flash, give them a treat. When they're doing the right thing, you're reinforcing positive behaviour. Mm. And even for deaf dogs, for example, you can do a thumbs up when they do something you want to, and then they associate that. And then you can eventually wean them off the food. Yeah, people often think that cats are, are, are really difficult to train. Yes, I, mean, I would agree. Yeah, you, you have quite a few cats. Five. Five, five cats. Five cats. <laughs> and they're running right. <laughs> Laptop. Yeah, I was trying to work. Uh, they surround me. I have, I have five ago. It's uh, Pickle, Olivia Pope, Dr. Abigail Bartlett, Daisy V. Harper, and DCI Jane Tennyson. And, Repeat that. Uh, the vet enjoys me immensely because she has to shout out the name of the cats, obviously. <laughs> um, I, the one thing we do do is uh, we've trained them because th we want to feed them all at the same time as if you go. Brr, brr, and they know okay. that the foods. The so to be fair, same, yeah. that's the same with those have. names. Yes, it is easier to say. So maybe I have trained them slightly, but they are yeah. still very willful. I yes. would say. And a problem with the laptop. Well, <clears throat> I just they just take over the house. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> on your laptop all the time. They're, yeah, they sit on the laptop. They drool on the laptop. Um, the poor wardrobe people here had to break open another lint roller because <laughs> my jeans were white when I arrived. Are you sure, it's only the cats drooling on the laptop. Mm. Yes, yes. I, I'm, very, I'm very awake most of the time. Well, well, if you don't want the cats on the laptop, the best thing to do is try and positive reinforce right, other yeah. behaviour. They're uh -huh. probably on there because it's warm or because they see that's where your fingers are. Yes. And they might want a stroke. Yes. So take a basket, put it by, put it by somewhere nice and warm next to the radiator, and then yeah. use that clicker training okay. to encourage them into the basket. Here's Don't feed them when they're on the laptop. Okay. Here's something to work towards. Okay. Here we go. Uh, these are the <laughs> Acra cats. Oh, uh, yes. There they are, look. Very Each and every one of them. Bit of inspiration there. And you'll see a bit of hoop jumping in a minute <coughs> as well. Maybe, yeah. There you go. Yes. Straight through there. My dream was to have a troop called the Catrobats <laughs> and get on Britain's Got Talent, because they've always got dogs on Britain's Got Talent, and myself and the five cats, the Catrobats, so far, very little has been achieved, mm -hmm. but I have high hopes. I've gone as far, and oh, I shouldn't tell you that. Come on. Well, I... <laughs> Come on, Susan, you can't do Simon with that one. Love it. I rubbed a little bit of tuna on my legs to try and attract them. Because <laughs> I wanted them to go through my legs. Yeah. And even that, they went, no, I'm not doing it. So I, I... This is my life. I rubbed a little bit of tuna on my legs. Really? So, yeah. I'm well, off you know what we'll do, Susan? Good, good. As we go into this next film, we'll let you and Mike have a chat about how the training could be right. improved. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I think that's better than rubbing tuna on myself. Yeah. Yes. Uh, now, every year, groundbreaking new surgery.